Hi, I'm Neil Hermes, and I have a word of the day for you today. And who'd have thought, but the word of the day today is going to be the word ornithologist. Um, I call myself an ornithologist, and sometimes people say, you know, what is an ornithologist? In fact, some people have difficulty saying the word ornithology. Um, uh, so what is it and what does it mean? And I was trying to explain this to a group of school kids just recently, and I said, well, you know what a biologist is? It's a person who studies biology. And you know what a geologist is? It's a person who studies rocks, geo meaning, you know, stone. So ornithology is someone who studies birds, ornith, ornitho coming from the Latin and Greek meaning bird. Um, but it's a, it, in a way, it's a bit of an old fashioned word, ornithology. It's a bit like calling a stamp collector a philatelist. Um, you know, it's a sort of formal language. Uh, you could call someone an ornithologist, who, someone who studies birds, or you could just call them a birder. Um, um, or potentially even a bird watcher. I mean, in the end, what's in a name? For me, um, I, I have a passionate interest in birds. I study birds. I photograph birds. I write books about birds. I call myself an ornithologist. I could call myself a bird watcher or a birder. Um, but ornithology is a sort of more formal name, and it's in line with the other study words like geology, biology, etc., that describes formally people who um, are engaged in a more professional, perhaps, way of studying those things. So there you go, ornithology, nothing to do with fixing your teeth and all to do with watching birds.